This problem asks us to calculate the pH in some solutions of strong acids and bases. First, in 0 0.30 molar sulfuric acid. Now let's think a little bit about sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is dibasic. That is to say, it has two acidic protons. And so from each mole of sulfuric acid, we obtain two moles of hydronium ion, the acidic species. So the concentration of H3O plus in this solution equals 2 times 0 0.30 molar equals 0 0.60 molar. The pH is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of H3O plus equals the negative logarithm to the base 10 of 0 0.60 equals The negative of negative 0 0.22 equals 0 0.22. This solution has a pH below 1. It is a strongly acidic solution. As we would expect, since it is a solution of a strong acid. Now, barium hydroxide is a strong base. That's what the problem tells us. The following strong acid and base solutions. And so, we look at the formula for BaOH2, and we see right away that in solution, we get two moles of hydroxide iron, which is the characteristic basic species. So, the concentration of hydroxide iron equals 2 times 0 0.0050 molar equals 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 molar. Now let's calculate not the pH initially, but the pOH. The pOH is, as we've said in the lecture, the negative to the, of the logarithm to the base 10 of the hydroxide ion concentration. And that equals negative log to the base 10 of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 2 equals 2.00. Now a useful relationship that we've seen before and that we will use again from time to time is the general relationship that the pH plus the pOH equals 14 Point zero zero equals pKW. Remember KW, it's the product of the hydroxide and the hydronium ion concentrations in any aqueous solution, which is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14, hence the 14.00. So the pH in this solution equals 14.00 minus the pOH equals 
12.00. Strongly basic, as we would expect. Barium hydroxide is not very soluble in water. We cannot make a concentrated solution of it. Nevertheless, it is a strong base. That is to say, it is completely ionized in its solutions in water. Hence, a strong base. Remember, strong and concentrated are totally independent terms. They don't relate to one another. Strong relates to the degree of ionization. Concentrated relates to the degree of concentration.